Okay. So you're just you're the only Tetris shape and you're a four. So it's either vertical or it's horizontal. That's it. That's all the options. And if I do this, it's gonna come out here. I guess I can do that. No. That one's a one, so I can't come back to swoop up and get the other one. I mean, I can. There we go. Might have been solvable the, the other way too, but I solved it my way. And I solved it my way. One, two, three, four. I figured this could go pointing down here, and that would perfectly be shaped in the blah, 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 blah. Okay, fuck it. Uh, ah! That'd be shaped correctly to do the three. But it doesn't two any of the other ones. So that's bad. I ziv. And how else do you make it work? Um. This funnily enough satisfies both the bottom ones, but you can't like you can't draw the shape in that direction. I can't rotate it to point upward like a bucket, because it won't touch itself, so it won't be valid. The other three variations all work to some extent. Maybe. Three and two, and the shape's complete. But the top right one only gets one. I can't slide it over. What about a downward pointing bucket? But it slid over here? That might work if I draw the shapes in the reverse direction. At. It does. I was going to say, this can't be that hard of a puzzle to solve. There's only one shape. <laughs> and it can only face so many directions. And that's going to solve the entire puzzle. This one might be similar, but it's fucking chaos. Okay. If it faces the way that it's facing right now, which it looks like it's facing long ways, it's obviously diagonal, but... If it faces that way... There's only really one way to draw it. Because the, uh... It has a little lip that sticks down this guy right here. Which means that... It has to be at this exact position, unless it's rotated. Because if it went up or down... It can't go down at all of how this thing sticks down to the boundary of the level. And if it goes up by one, it won't touch its own shape, so it won't be valid in the fullest place. Pretty much has to be that. The shapes are all happy so far. Nah, I can't solve this. I have to go around. I can get you, but I can't get this one to be a two. It's that close. I don't think I can fix that. Unless I go around and try the other direction. Blah, blah, blah. All right. It's a two. Ah. Yeah, I can't do that because that'll draw. That'll make the left one a, a two. All right, time to get rotating. If I make you go bucket shaped you point at the exit or you're here you can't be here I I can't finish drawing the shape and it turns the top left the left one into a three 
which extremely does not work. And given the bucket shape, let's see. This one has a few. This one has a few options. I can make it go right by one, and then I can also make it go right by one, and then down by one because the the tail sticks up. What? Oh, I didn't move it over by one. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, that puts it against the wall so I can't draw the, the, the spaces around it. Okay, uh, if I rotate it around the other way, I think that's impossible. It's three along, so if I rotate it around so that this side is facing all the way over here, like the 180 ish. Uh, it's not, I can't touch this piece to include it. So I guess it's probably upside down, in which case it's either the tip or the neck. And it can't be the neck because if it, if this part right that I'm highlighting right now was also this square, then it would have to hook around this guy like this, which would make it a two. So it's probably the tip. Yep. That's a successful draw of the shape, but everything down there is mad at me. Because none of them are done correctly. Gah, fuck. But also, how do you do that? <laughs> Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Okay, uh... Yeah, I can't swoop in to add another little shape down there with this configuration. Oh... Um, but when it's upside down, I could slide it. This, this could actually be the head. Um, one, two, three, and like that. And then just do a little boopy boop. I think everybody is happy there. Okay, I was off by how many configurations there were because you could slide it again. We're getting there ish. This tunnel's getting failed in eventually. Um, what do you want, buddy? Oh, that's a lot to process here. Okay, so there's two shapes. And once again, given how their starting position works, they are touching each other. So they're going to be the same shape. They're going to be combined. But how do you even do that? Um, Because this one's three tall and that one's three tall. So they ha one of them has to move to the side. But these are three away. These are... A three tall can't hit both of these, which is a problem if one of them is moving to the side, because that means you can't hit them with the same shape. So that means it has to be a nestled shape like this. Basically. The L is in the bottom right, and the three is in its lap, essentially. I think that might be the only configuration that can hit both shapes. You then just have to figure out how to make the puzzle valid around that. But maybe not, because there's a one there's a one triangle right there that's already mad at me without me doing anything else.
The only other variation I see is that you can move the three up by one, creating a little space. But that doesn't actually help anything. But this is an alternate... ...way of drawing that. But right now the issue is how do I... ...not piss off the one. Trying to think of ones where you put the L up top and the three on the bottom. <sighs> and then hit everything, but you can't put them above or below each other except in, like in this nestled setup, the spooning. <laughs> so I can't put the three directly under the L, so I can't. Hmm. It should be easy enough to draw the t make it the, everything in the top left happy by just drawing a shape in advance. But I don't see how to fix the one. The one triangle on the, on the bottom. That just seems like it's a problem no matter what. Oh, I see it. I have the exact correct position down. I just have to do it backwards. If I draw the line from the top, then I only draw one line by the triangle. Do just get these guys out of the way. One, two, three. Do to do. There we go. That's the that's how all I had to do. I was. It, it, <laughs> It's funny just getting those traps for a while, because I'm like, this has to be it! Like, this either goes on the top or the bottom, but like, like the, this thing moving slightly is the only change that could happen. And I'm like, there's no other way to make these shapes stack. So what am I missing? And it was literally just the direction the line was going in. Uh, uh, those are weird. Hmm. One, two, three, four. The top one's only four across. It occurred to me that like it might go there just because that's that does perfectly solve both of those ones. But like there's no way to really draw it there. Aside from how it might be combined with other shapes. At the same time, this guy right here makes me think in terms of being able to draw like that to solve that one. But those would both overlap each other if I tried putting them there. Not much good comes of like, what's it like this? That's what happens if I try to draw them in one place, stacked on top of each other. Creates like a hundred problems. <laughs> like the part where there's a pocket in the top left and the bottom right that I can't reconcile. Because you can't draw like that. I zigzag you here, then that guy up top. That 
It does draw the shapes, but yeah, there's no way to draw this part. Because intuitively, I actually need to like, just leave. I think this satisfies everything except for the triangles in the bottom right corner. Boop, 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 boop. Do, 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 do. That's the shapes. All the, yeah. How do I fix that? Do I just move it over by one? Yep. Just slide the Z to the left by one and it all comes together. And now this cave's looking pretty solved, except for the first puzzle I tried. Will it suddenly make sense or do I need to come back later? Fuck, it's symmetrical. Yeah, I remember. Two, 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 three. Uh, I've probably drawn that, this one before. But yeah, this shape satisfies every single triangle, I think, except for the one in the top right, which is the three. And that's bad. But if I retreat that divot by one square, then the twos that I solved on the bottom both get messed up. Mmm, that's really close. If I do this, I can't get that one. If I swoop down, yeah. Can't play with this square, because that's the one. I have to stay away from that as much as I can. It means I can't swoop down here, which is what I would normally try to do to solve this problem. That fucks up that one corner. Shouldn't have done that. I'm going to forget what I was doing. Ah. Do I switch?
definitely tried this before. Because you get locked in on this side and can't go anywhere else. Now everyone's happy except for the left shape. Nope, well actually all these are not happy. I just, I don't see a path for that one at all. Let's not spend more time on it for now. Since I'm perpetually completely stuck on it. Oh, you. Oh, these aren't symmetrical. Right, they're just perspective puzzles from the, ver from the, uh, in the style of the ones at the top of the mountain. So the, the pillar makes us those a direction I can't draw a line in. Whipply! This is just a weird dead end. One of them's on the floor. It's one of these. It's even one of the chunks just ripped off. No? Oh. These can't be with that, and that can't be with that. Hmm. There we go. Everything's in its pairs. The main thing that stood out to me is that there are five black pieces and they're all touching. So you have to cut that into three chunks, two sets of two stars, and then a third one. So I figured, okay, that's, those are my horizontal slices. I just need to figure out how to make the math work out for everything else. Ugh. What are you again? Put you here, and put the zigzag around the end of it. I can't attach those to it. They have to go around the tail of the zigzag, I believe. So I tried imagining the zigzag going where the nine, I guess we can call it. It looks like a nine. Starting, I imagine it starting where the nine is, but then the two pips going to the tail on the far right of that would not connect to the origin of the pips, so the shape wouldn't work. So that's bad.
It is rotatable, though. So... Yeah, they're all rotatable. What if I just draw the zigzag over all the shapes? So right there... That's the zigzag on the right, and the nine on the left. I just need the two pips to be attached to that, so... No. I went too fast, I think. You. The top pip. There we go. Ah. Blah, 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 blah. Got there eventually. My brain. Ugh. Ugh, 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 ugh. It's gonna be one where my. Yep. You don't have to do this, you know. You can just not be a dick. Ah, fuck. So let's separate the bluish ones from the reddish ones and see if I can just do this by sight. I can't even tell which one's blinking. Oh boy. Oof. God, that one's incomprehensible. I probably did use image editing to solve that one before. And it might be all the more necessary now because it hurts to look at. Okay, these can all be conceptually paired off. These two together, these two together, these two, these two. But then you have the color contrast ones. What's the problem? I think the problem's gonna be that... I just need to put... these two together? Did it not work? That's the thing it cancelled out? I figure purple purple's happy. Oh, okay, this gets weird. I solved it as if the nuclear the as if the error symbol was neutral. And that's the problem. I figured oh, green and green, purple and purple, like these all these all pair off as the stars want. But the squares are unhappy being together, so I figured the symbol would negate that. But not only is that not what it did, but I think the square also, like, negates an entire icon completely. I think it just negates the entire thing instead of, uh... Anything else, so... Ba -ba -doo. Uh... Yeah, it probably deletes the entire icon.
Hmm. Trying to think about the rules here. Because basically one of the purple stars is going to end up being paired with the symbol, I think. Unless it also negates itself. It does go gray, so does that even count as pairing itself? I'm not super confident about how the rules work in this context. Right, those are unhappy together. They're really hard to separate though, we have so little maneuverability. Every single tile is used. That does not cancel out what I think it will. So we have more green spike balls, which means they need to be matched up pretty consistently, but the there are five purple pieces. But what's significant about the purple pieces is that they... is this it? No? There's too many purples, right. The thing about the purples is that you can cut out one of the... One of the purple squares. It doesn't matter as long as it's not with the green square. You want to get rid of that one? No, I've tried this before. It'd probably cancel out the green, but now there's too many purples, because they won't... Yeah, that's four symbols. That's very wrong. It's rough. If you do a shape like this, like, boom, the entire board's useless. Like, you can't draw anything else after that one shape. That's how small the board is. These two. You almost certainly need a line right here. That would probably negate the extra green. But then the remaining side has three purples. So the spikes are going to be mad. And the green's going to be mad. Yeah, it's just everything. Everything's wrong about that one. All right. All right, 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 all right. No, the top left green is going to be mad. What am I missing? Ah, 
right, let's look at something else. Instead of just being stuck forever. Downside of this level is that it has less flow. I think everything's extra optional here. It's almost like asking what you want from the game at some point, because you just kind of just solve puzzles for the sake of it, and they don't unlock anything. That's just on the floor hanging out. And then you look at your load of game setting, and you're like, oh, wow, the number of puzzles. I've solved more puzzles. Look at me go. And that's it. Which, uh, funnily enough, I'm pretty sure... I think when I beat the game, I had exactly 420 puzzles solved, which is just funny. And if you're not if you're not aware, the way that this works is that the left number is normal puzzles, and the plus is how many environmental puzzles you've done. So even these optional ones count as the original number. It just keeps going higher. So ideally, I'd probably line it up so that it only cuts off one direction. Because it gets if you cut if, it, if it's diagonal, that's really messy. How much you're losing the ability to use. And this is a big square. So these two are positioned in a way where they have to touch each other. This one being a plus sign, it definitely crosses over where this thing defaults to being. But they can't be rotated. And I don't know if you can reasonably make them cross over to this shape. But this shape's interesting because no matter what it... I guess they all actually... All of them are touching the the inside of the shape, by default. I guess that square ma that square counts too. So you're not, we're not wrapping around it. That counts as one of the squares a, a, a shape can occupy, I believe. This direction also sucks because it's a plus sign like this, which means I'd have to come in like this to try to draw the gap under it. Which you can't really do, because then you can't come back around and finish drawing the shape. We definitely want to move that. Maybe put the big one in the bottom corner, but then I have to reach all the way across to it. But I can probably do that. Like, I think I might actually want this diagonal shape after all. Because, let's see. I want this to be in the top corner. The plus sign is going to be the entire middle. Here's the square right here. And the plus sign wraps around here. Yep. So I need I need that diagonal. That might work. So square plus sign ah uh, yeah, I have more room to work with here, actually. So here's the T shape up here, but the plus sign's wrapping around in it. Then here's the, here's the square, the rest of the plus sign, the rest of the T. Oh, the T is not on the inside! I made something that fits them all, but this T is not in it. So the source doesn't work. <laughs> 